Hello. Well, hello. If Welcome you're back. If you're just joining us uh, in With watching, er, <laughs> yeah. no, that's everything. the opposite of what I meant to say. <laughs> if you're watching it, if you're watching in sequence, you've officially reached the point where the gameplay gets better and the commentary gets worse. Hooray! Yay! Okay. <laughs> so you can, yeah, you're right. It does get worse. I'm already tired. Yeah, you're tired. Uh, okay, let's read. Uh, the potential for this illness exists in all people, and under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven like him to the other side. The other side? Yes, perhaps may not be the best way to phrase it. After oh, all, I didn't even mean to... Okay, that's funny. Keep after going. all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders between America and Mexico, <laughs> where, <laughs> where reality and unre unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. Some say it's not even an illness. I can't argue with them. I can't agree with them. Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. This is the opposite the of agreeing. The exact opposite. I'm a doctor. Not a philosopher or even a psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. A psychiatrist. Oh, what psychiatrist? <sighs> but sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us, his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind. That's not a question. But to him, there simply is no other reality. Furthermore, he is a happy... What I didn't read the last sentence. Why didn't you... <laughs> you, can't, you can't go I started back. thinking about that, that, uh, that song in Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Hang on, oh. hang on. So why, I asked myself, why in the name of healing... Must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Something else is written by hand. I got the key from Joseph. It's probably the key to that box. Cool, great. I started thinking of the Peter You Suck song again. Oh. Where he's like, <laughs> see a psychiatrist. <laughs> see a psychiatrist, Peter. See a psychiatrist. Okay, cool. So we got a key now. She just fucking... I forgot she's there. She teleports into the corner of whichever room we I thought she enter. was the, the, that one nurse from Silent Hill 1. That, that one red the, bitch. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, the yeah, girl that, with the that red. one girl. That, that one girl. It, discount Ada. So, what, what are we doing here? Why are we here? Um, what are, what, why, why is the, the second <laughs> half of this series going to go down the shitter but up in... Uh, but uh, up in yeah. gameplay because up in gameplay because I watched like ten minutes of a speed run. By the way, which in, is a significant portion of the game. Yeah. By the way, it's a speed run. In figure. in in the speed run, they are where we are in fifteen minutes. So sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, <everyone. laughs> uh, sorry, sorry about that. I I uh, oh. see the problem with my ways now. Sorry, we, we okay. see the problem in our ways. Yeah. We're about this game. <coughs> but we're going to go faster now but hey, because like, I'm just chesting all the doors, everyone, to, to, to mark them on my map. We're going to hey, do it a little faster because I... Oh, she fucking scared me. <laughs> I, watched, I watched the upcoming part and I actually fucking played the upcoming part earlier uh, today so bright. myself. So we need to go up those stairs. Uh, but just because I played it doesn't mean it's going to be smooth sailing because I was having a lot of troubles, as you know, a lot as of you know troubles. me to do. As you know us to do. Yeah. You're, you're not alone here. We, we very much fuck up. I definitely don't remember. God damn it. She's so fucking scary. She's the scariest part of this game. You think so? Yeah. She creeps me out. Women creep me out just in general. Fair enough. I definitely don't remember the order of things. Um... And it really... Oh, my God. She's yeah, everywhere. Yeah, see? It really just felt like... The lighting, too, is like the uh, the underglow flashlight when people are telling scary stories. Yeah. In the dark. It's, Jesus Christ. I fucking hate the nurses, by the way. Uh, I guess they're, like, one of the most... Um, what's the word? Like, iconic enemies from oh, Silent are, Hill. These are the bobblehead nurses? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're called bobblehead nurses, actually. I call them bubble... Why? How? What the... How is she in here? I also skipped cutscenes earlier, so. Ow. 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 <laughs> Ow. I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Prick. Yeah. Prick. <laughs> yeah. Ow. I pricked myself again. Ow. It's a fish hook, you fuck. 
It's a bent. Yeah, that's all a fish hook is. It's a bent needle. Also, there's a shotgun. Fucking, I got a shotgun. Fucking hook fish. Okay. Cool. No, uh, I guess the nurses are supposed to be iconic. I hate them. I they fucking hate them. They're very iconic, yeah. I Why? Fucking... Why do you, as enemies you hate them, or just uh, as an idea you hate them? No, as enemies I hate them. What do they do? They don't seem like they're giving you much trouble. They smacked me twice with like a golf club or whatever the fuck they're holding. Golf holdin'. clubs? What? No, it's not a golf club. A stick. I don't know what it is. A very scary stick. Okay, I'm getting lots of keys. Making sure I grab fucking everything, because earlier I missed a couple things. And it was not fun. It was not fun to retread ground. Okay. So the nurse's room is like right here. Oh, there they are. That is definitely them. No, god damn it. Why did I think I had the shotgun equipped? I already need to use one of these. Um... Yeah. I know, I'm 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 like immediately using the shotgun. It probably seems really dumb. The speedrunner dude was doing it, so we're doing it probably. The speedrunner dude just ran past everything. I don't get as lucky as the speedrunner dude was getting. I wanna I don't, I don't know about luck. Okay. Hang on, hang on. I'm yeah, I'm definitely not as uh as talented Skilled. at the Silent Hill 2 game well clearly yeah but you know. he was getting hit too and he was on normal he was just taking the damage and hey, then everyone gets hit from time to time and then eating those uh first aids even the people who do no hit runs yeah wait where the fuck am i oh <laughs> <laughs> god damn it that's where you are examination room. i thought i was like over here okay cool. you're already losing your bearings I really do. I I hate to say it. What up? And I know, like, if anyone cared, they'd just tell me I'm wrong anyway. But I think the level design is a lot worse than it was in the original. I mean, because you can't see in camera, apparently. I don't know. I was constantly pulling up the map in the original, also, but I don't know. I mean, I, I can I, still remember where stuff was in the original, kind of. Yeah, and I feel like I. Feel I just feel like it's honestly. We're, 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 oh wait, we we're need kind of jumping the gun. I'm talking about the game, honestly, though. What? We gotta save it for the end credits, my guy. No, I'm just saying. I think maybe it's um, honestly darker on this TV than it should be. And maybe that's the TV is just dark. You know that would explain why Scooby Doo is also dark as fuck. Yeah, it could. It could definitely yeah. be the TV. Um, what? There's a memo on the refrigerator. Food only. Do not store drugs. Okay. Yeah, do drugs. Okay. Okay. Drugs are food. What are you talking about? So, 7335. We got a code. Oh, my God. I can't bother to remember numbers right now. It's only four numbers, dude. That's four is a lot. 7335. Well, three, three, on the context. There we go. Fuck. No, I think it is the TV. I think the TV makes this game, like, advanced darkness. Advanced darkness. It is very advanced darkness. And it's really not, like, limiting my vision is only it's so scary. It's limiting my like, patience. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm getting at. It's only so fucking horrific until it's just like, god damn it. And the camera. The camera itself... That ha like the uh, the way this game controls and the uh, the camera, like it does feel even more so than like people say Resident Evil is like moving a fucking spoon through peanut butter, but I feel it more Wait, so in this oh, game. Resident Evil One, like the original ones, yeah. I guess the tank controls. Yeah, but I'm just saying I feel it more with this game. And this bitch I'm gets like, in my I way a lot. I definitely know that phrase. I've used it before in games. Yeah. But I, wouldn't, I don't know if I'd say the same thing with tank controls. And maybe tank controls Resident Evil 1, but Resident Evil Remake, nah. Oh, no, yeah, the original Resident Evil 1. Wait a minute, what's this? There's a sheet of carbon paper. It typed out a blue screen? What the fuck? 
Six one four six. Okay. Oh, it's eight numbers. See, Nelson, that's a lot. I know it. I know. I know it. I know the number of the box. I it can't help him. Okay. We don't need to read that one. Uh, also, like we keep memos, so we don't need to remember it. We can just look at it later. Get the fuck out of my way! <laughs> Seriously. She's obnoxious and terrifying. I didn't even invite her with like to come on this quest with me. God damn. Yeah, she, she hates bowling, her but she likes self. hospitals. That's Looks apparently over. how it is. Well, I had to pick between a bowling alley and a hospital. <sighs> yeah. I don't even need to fucking finish that sentence. Okay, we got a key and shotgun shells. I got handgun bullets. I got shotgun bullets. Don't be everywhere. Really, though. God damn it. What's this? She's like that clingy ex-girlfriend. Everywhere? Yeah. And just in your way, in your face. Just like, hey, what are you doing later? Yeah. I've never had that one. But I've heard that it's not pleasant. Oh, I, I, it's not pleasant. Oh, fuck. I didn't even... I can't speak from experience, God damn it. though. I didn't switch the gun. Also, these things, the nurses, like, I haven't... They're bullet sponges, dude. They take, like, a thousand bullets. They took, like, three... Unless oh. I go step on them. If you step on them, they take a lot they less. Took, like, three. Well, do you really want me to waste bullets to show you what I mean? Because if I just sat here and only shot them with the handgun, they actually take, like, 20 bullets. And I promise you. I, I, I guess I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna waste all that, all that effort. <laughs> Just like, go away. Come on. She's head bobbing over there. Okay. I did take a lot of damage earlier, so that's what we're not gonna do now. Because earlier I was just <laughs> fucking. I was just getting as far as I could. Um. As fast as I could earlier, I didn't care oh, if dude. I if I used all my shit because it wasn't. Why gonna... did you kill that nurse? She was just having fun making a fucking mattress fort. Was she, dude? I think. Dude, look, did you not see that mattress fort there? That was an advanced fucking fort. Nine year old me would dream of having. Oh, I know what you were referring to. That's for sure. What up? What am I referring to? The door. The door. The fucking. The, door. <laughs> the, the door. fort. Oh yeah. I saw it. Dude, I, I don't know on. what you mean. You, you told me you never wanted to make mattress or pillow forts or anything? Never wanted to. I have. When I was like... Wait, you, what? So you just did it because you were like, oh, I guess this is what kids do. I didn't I don't really want to, but you no, know... No, I didn't, I didn't say I never wanted I to. I gotta have a normal childhood. But that's not what I said. Okay, what'd you say then? I said I'm not saying I never wanted to because oh, I have. I just heard I never wanted to. I was like, never wanted to? <laughs> I have. Like, what? That's how... <laughs> That's the delivery it should have come. That, that's come what up. I heard. Okay. Okay. I was like, what the fuck? Excuse me. Great. Y y excuse me, too. Also, I was, like, never using my handgun bullets, and then I had, like, 120, so I'm, I'm just going to use them because it's better than using my shotgun bullets or taking ammo, uh, damage. So, like, this is going to require, like, you guys have to have an active imagination for this. I had, like, I had this thing, right? Yeah. That was, like... As if you were to tape two couch cushions together, and so you could fold it like a sandwich, and it was like another little like armrest on it, and that would be like the back or a pillow or something. Uh huh. And you could unfold it, and it would lay out and be like a single like twin size mattress almost, mm -hmm. and it was just made of cushion. But you could fold it so it'd be a chair. Wow, holy shit, ninety stuff, cool stuff. Oh what God, the God damn this? it! So yeah. I had this um. I had this car table that I got from like Goodwill or whatever, and like I put it in the corner of the house and unfold the uh, the couch fucking mattress thing, put it vertical, and then put it around uh, the two sides that weren't covered because the other two were covered by w the walls, right? And then there, that was my fort. <laughs> it's a sad pillow fort, I know, but it's what I had, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna check if there's anything over here in the storeroom. And, like, it was cool because you could fucking, like, open it. Because it was, like, at a 90 degree angle and it would be, like, a sliding door. And then you could close it behind you and then just hide underneath a table, basically. Yeah. That was, a, that was a neat shit. You had an active mind. And also, you could, you, there's some other light that got in, so you just cover the whole thing with the blanket. Uh -huh. And then you kind of get some, like, 
some dim natural lighting in there to like set the mood. I don't remember what I did in there. Ooh. Probably jerked off a lot. I thought you were like young. Yeah, I was nine years old. <laughs> yeah, I was 18. <laughs> <laughs> it was 18. Yeah, it was 18. Double nine years old. <laughs> Ten-year-old Dwight. Okay, we actually made a little bit of progress. It wasn't a ton, but for us, that was probably you, the most you, progress you in, in the series yet. So, I, And I let you guys in on my No Girls Allowed fort. Yeah. So we'll see you next time. Okay, later. Actually, I remember inviting friends into the fort and playing card games with them.